The 35th edition of the Paris Marathon started in style. As the sun came up, the French capital was drenched in the promise of a warm early summer's day and a great race. More than 31,000 gathered ready to pour onto the streets for one of the world's most iconic 26-mile events. The high-quality wheelchair race began the contest with everyone out to deny defending champion Heinz Fry a third title. Then came the elites. 18 men who've beaten 2 hours 10 set off at a pace to challenge the 2009 course record of 2.05.47 held by Vincent Capruto. While similar ambitions were put before the elite women, with six aiming to challenge last year's course best of 2.22.04 set by Ethiopian Asede Baisa. While the world-class leaders focused on settling into an early rhythm and a battle with the clock, for most of the 31,000, the journey was about finding the energy to make it to the end of the course in any time and in the process raise hundreds of thousands for charity. As the men approached halfway, the speed had really intensified. When a pacemaker sets a personal best for a half marathon, it's an indication of a ferocious pace. And as Kerwa and Korea stepped out, they were within a minute of world record pace when the duties were left to John Komen. A different race this year for the women, no isolated front running, but a group of five holding on to each other as they went through the halfway point on course for 2.21. Surely someone had to start to tire. At the finish, Heinz Fry was pressed all the way by Frenchman Pierre Fairbank, who went one better than last year, finishing second this time. A third title for Fry, whose reputation as the greatest is now assured. Denis Lemounier completed the podium and a good day for the home nation. Once John Komen stopped at 30k, the real race began as the fast pace picked off the group's contenders one by one. Henry Sugat tried to impose himself at the front, but there were others more familiar with the course and the speed waiting in the wings. First to drop off the lead group in the women's race was Ethiopia's Mamitu Daska, who despite winning in Houston earlier this year, just couldn't stay in touch as Prisha Cheptu and Agnes Kiprop started to dominate. And just as the Kenyan women turned the screw, so too did the men. Benjamin Kiptu made the decisive break with 5k to go and never looked back. A personal best of 206.31 and the winner's check for 50,000 euros for him. Victory all the sweeter after he finished fourth last year. Bernard Kipiego made it 1-2 for Kenya, winning the battle for second against a very spirited performance from Eshetu Wendimu. Prisha Chetu made it a male-female Kenyan double for the first time since 2003, taking an enormous four minutes off her personal best. Arriving as the sixth fastest on paper, this was a big step up in class. Agnes Kiprop was a very tired second, while Corinne Yao had to sprint to make sure of third. Another great day in the sunshine here in Paris.